Hi, Brad from WPSites.net. We'll take a look at how to enable Twitter cards in WordPress. And if you just look at an example of an old uh, tweet, it's fairly small. You can see here there's normally only a little bit of uh, text and also a link. Um, with Twitter cards, there'll also be a link called uh, View Summary. And when you click on that, it, it expands and you get a lot more information. You get a featured image which can be pulled from your post. You'll get the full post title, plus you'll get a meta description of the, uh, of the post as well. And, uh, and there's a lot more information available, so it does produce a lot more click-throughs to your site. So you've got to install that, and the first thing you have to do is uh, add the Twitter metadata to your WordPress site. If you're using the WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin, that's very easily done because it includes a field to do that. So if you log into your WordPress dashboard, if you don't have the WordPress SEO plugin installed, I suggest you uh, consider installing it because it is a fantastic plugin and uh, this tutorial is based on using the WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin. So once you install the plugin you get a little SEO uh, icon here and if you click on the social link it's just a matter of going through to this screen and adding your Twitter username and it also includes Facebook Open Graph as well so it's really easy to set up that as well. Um, but you scroll down here and you'll find uh, add Twitter MetaCard data, check that box there, put your Twitter username in here and save the settings and that's pretty much all you have to do in WordPress. Uh, there's, there's more information available on my site which you'll need to follow to apply for Twitter cards. It just doesn't become activated automatically. Um, under this post here you'll find two links that you need to follow and the first one is to the development site in Twitter. So if you copy and paste this URL into a browser you'll come through to a screen where you can test to make sure that uh, the Twitter metadata has been added to your site. So take any URL off your site. It doesn't have to be a specific page. You can use your domain name and come through to this site here and preview your Twitter card. And when you put the URL in, and I've just put in my, uh, my top level domain here, it wouldn't matter if I used uh, another domain for a post. You'll see that it tests the Twitter card and it works here fine. So this is just an example of what uh, the Twitter card would look like once it's approved. So this, this tests that the metadata has been uh, added to your WordPress site. And the next step is that you need to take this second URL here under point number six and you need to set up an application. So if you don't have an application set up at Twitter, you'll need to do that. It's pretty straightforward. Paste that URL into your browser. You'll come through to this screen, which is participate in Twitter cards. And it's a matter of filling out your contact information here, your name, your email, your Twitter and username, put in your website domain. So we'll go through that now. It's pretty straightforward. Um, put in a website description. WordPress blog tips, Twitter um, username associated with that domain. Um, in this case, it's going to be wpsites.net. Um, example summary card URL. You can put anything in here. You can just put in any any domain because the uh, once you've added the the meta, Twitter meta card data to your site, it'll appear on every uh, on every page. So you can just take this example photo card URL. You don't need to put that in. Okay, example player card URL. You don't need to put that in either. So it's just a matter of clicking submit there. and you come to this screen will say thank you for your interest we'll get back to you when we are ready to add more partners so so obviously they they assess how many people they're going to allow to use Twitter cards they're obviously testing it at the moment probably a little bit like Google Plus when they first started out they only had a certain amount of users that they're allowing to use the service it's the same with Twitter cards so they're testing that out but uh, that's how you add Twitter cards in WordPress I've written a full tutorial about it 
method's actually been written by a guest author and it's a pretty straightforward process of adding Twitter cards in WordPress which you'll find on wpsites.net. Thanks for watching folks. Cheers. See you next time.